Hi, beautiful. Today we're watching people color their locks. I feel like I've seen people try this a lot and it not go great. The hair is so dense that sometimes the bleach just doesn't lighten it enough. But I'm interested to see the techniques that people use. As we know, locks can take a really long time to perfect, to get them really long and luscious. So I really hope these people today don't ruin them because my heart will break. Up first, we have a video by Miss Casey. I want to do something different to my hair. It's time to dye my hair, bleach my hair, do something to it. And usually I'm really good at hair, but this time it turned out crazy. It turned out crazy. I'm interested to see what crazy is. Is it crazy good? Is it crazy bad? What do we got going on? Now I need you to watch this from beginning to end so you can tell me what I did wrong. Oh, I'll be here to tell you. You know I will. So I began doing what I thought was the best thing to do, which is just putting my hair in different sections. When I bleach the roots, it makes it a bit easier. We all love sectioning here on Brad Mondo's reaction videos. You know how much I love it. But for this instance, I don't know if sectioning is really necessary since the locks are already kind of pre-sectioned. You can kind of just go around them. Now I use little plastic rubber bands to put it in sections and I'm using quick blue bleach and 30 developer. I don't mind that. Because locks are so dense, you're really gonna need a powerful lightener and a powerful developer to really penetrate inside and really get that hair lightened. Plus her hair is really dark naturally, so we're gonna need that lifting power. If you could tell from my face, I'm a little scared, but I got this little applicator brush so I'm just applying it to the area that's black. I'm still watching this video as I'm doing the voiceover and I'm trying to figure out what did I do wrong. I actually think this is a really good process but first of all put some gloves on. You guys with the no gloves thing it's really ballsy. I, I mean go for it but like when you don't have fingerprints anymore don't come blaming me. Don't come after me. I actually like the way she's coloring her locks with the brush less with her hands. Originally I was like maybe she should kind of squeeze the lightener in to her locks, but then I was like, how are you gonna wash that out? You're gonna have bleach in your hair forever, you know, for as long as you have the locks. So I actually do feel like just painting the surface, getting a lot of lightener on there is going to be really helpful to make sure these locks are nice and bright. I was told not to put the bleach right on my edges because my edges would turn light first and you don't really want that, so I saved my edges for last. That is a great tip. Save your edges for last. They are the most fragile part of your hair. Do not directly just put it on all your edges first. Like they will snap. They will turn really, really white. It'll be all sorts of nasty. I was told to make sure you don't overlap and put it on the already bleached parts of my locks. And I tried my best to do that. As you can see, I'm like really taking my time trying to make sure that every part of my lock is covered by bleach. She is going in there. She is putting the work in and I'm appreciating it. I'm still trying to figure out what went wrong. So here's all my locks. Ooh. Okay, the application actually looks good. Where are we going wrong here? They have bleach on the roots. I'm thinking it looks pretty good. Uh-oh, do you guys see what I'm seeing here? Can we zoom in? She's probably colored her hair previously dark on the roots. Like I get the sense that her roots are not natural. We are getting different colors throughout that section of hair. Ooh, she's gonna end up with some really orange hair. If you have a ring light, put your phone on it and you can view the back of your head when you look into the mirror. Look at her fully saturating. Hell to the yeah. I'm looking in the mirror in front of me, looking at uh, the screen of my phone that's recording with the back of my head and I'm able to see what I'm doing. We're getting a little overlapping there. Um it down. See the roots? They're turning blonde. I'm like, okay, it's working. And here's the big reveal. Ooh, what are we about to get? Three, two, one, go! It was at this moment that Sheaf knew Sheaf f***ed up. What? happened. I definitely didn't think it was gonna be great, but like, why is it so dark still? Her like regrowth section is still brown, which I don't understand at all. Maybe she didn't leave it on for long enough. Like you need to leave this on for probably an hour. So if you didn't, yeah, you probably went wrong there. She is shook. She is shaken and stirred. So basically guys, I had dyed this hair black. I knew it. She dyed that hair black before she screwed. I had dyed my edges black, so as a result, oh my god. Ah! Why did we miss so many spots? I really thought I was gonna do a better job than this. I don't think the front had enough time to color. It did not have enough time. Lord, what did I just do? You might have 
screwed yourself a little bit. I am debating whether I just want to bleach the hair and then use the extension here to cover up this discoloration. I definitely think you need to lighten the hair again in all those dark spots. Let's correct that. Wrap some extension around there. Actually, I don't have much developer. I look like a leopard. All right, so we're going in with a second round of bleach. Thank God, she really needs to fix that. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Put some more on my edges, but like, we ain't staying orange. Pray for my hair. Please, hair gods, let her hair live. So I bleached my hair again. This black bleach still doesn't want to let up. It still has some orange in it. The root is trying to let up but the hair itself, no, it doesn't want to let up. We can do something about this. Let's put a toner on there, okay? At like a level eight. Let's not make it too light. I also think maybe like a gingery color would really look good on you and it would even things out really nicely. So use a semi permanent color so we don't inflict any more damage on your hair. Maybe a ginger or something in that like level eight dark blonde range. What I have to do is on this brassy orange part, put this toner in to take down the brass. And I'm gonna mix it with some 20 developer. But then I have to, my hair's gonna be too white. So I have a light gold blonde permanent hair color, but I found this honey brown hair dye, semi-permanent, which would take less of a toll on my hair, seeing that I bleached these parts twice. And I really shouldn't have, I should've just got a toner, but I shouldn't be playing with my edges. Like. All right, so I mixed it. I didn't put the whole thing because I didn't really need it. And it's like this jelly consistency. Skip the T14. That is not going to do anything to help the situation. Just go right in with the semi-permanent color and deepen those edges, okay? So everything blends better. This is just too much. I'm debating whether I should condition my hair before I put on some um, honey brown conditioner. I take it back. That looks a lot better. But I kind of watered it down because a lot of people did like a water method and I don't want it to be too dark. So I'm thinking I can like spray it. That's a really interesting way of applying color. I'm into it. She put some water and put some color in a bottle and shook it. And now she's spraying it on all her roots to deepen them. I'm here for it. All right, so you see how it's like dyeing the hair. I don't want it to be like ash white blonde. I want it to be like honey blonde. It's already looking so much better. Your girl just saved her hair and I'm about to condition it for like two hours because it's gonna be brittle, but I'm gonna give this like 10 more minutes to get in my hair. Now my hair is gonna have like a honey brown undertone. Guys, I am just not the biggest fan of this honey brown. It kind of has like a yellow undertone. Doesn't look that bad in the mirror. Oh no, she was using a honey brown and her hair is really yellow to start with. So now it's just like neon yellow. I really thought we were gonna get this. Before it was like white and orange and now it's at least one tone, although it's not my favorite tone. But anyways, I can't wait to show you guys what I do to my hair next. Okay, well, um, I agree with everything you said. And next time try and opt for a more cool toned toner or semi-permanent color. That way it knocks out some of that yellow and you're left with more of like a neutral blonde color. That will look great. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Ooh. Oh. This next video is by Ashley K. As you guys can see, I am jumping right in. I don't even know what she's using. I'm scared. If it's anything like the last girl, ow. E. You know the routine when it comes to me coloring my hair. So she's using a different technique that I was thinking would probably be a better idea before, and then I didn't think it was a better idea, and now I do think it's a better idea. Using gloves, putting the lightener on your hands, and really getting it in the locks. As you guys know, I've had this black for about six months. So her current hair is dyed black. Oh, it's gonna be very orange, and that's just the truth. But maybe she wants that. I don't know. We're gonna get rid of this black as you can see i am throwing this bleach on here no special way all right keep your comments to yourself i have a hard time keeping my comments myself so i apologize y'all trying to critique me and tell me all this stuff but y'all this is how i do my hair okay i'm so happy she's leaving the roots 
out for now and she's gonna go back in later we all know you can't do those roots first because they are going to lighten really fast from the heat from your scalp me bleaching my hair and all this i'm not afraid of bleach i'm not afraid of bleach either okay it is my best friend actually usually sometimes also fyi i am a licensed cosmetologist so i do know what i'm doing i just do what i want to do on my hair because it's still healthy i haven't lost a strand of hair i feel that honestly i do the same shit with my hair i'm like you know what i know I know that this might be a mistake, but I literally don't have time to do it any other way. We just do what we can do as cosmetologists to our own hair. We don't have much time for ourselves. I'm not doing no, no spe specific way, sorry. The color that I'm going for, I know I'm not going to get like the exact thing I'm going for, but it's going to be close enough. As you, y'all be under my comments talking about, um, you're not supposed to bleach the roots until the end, guys. I don't give a rat's. I know you're not looking for critiques and you can do whatever you want, seriously. But it would be easier if you did all the mids and ends, let that lighten a bit, and then went in on the roots. Because now we're starting to do the roots already, but the ends aren't even lifted. So take it or leave it. I'm sure you maybe already know that. My roots will forever be lighter than the rest of my hair. My roots are my actual hair. The rest of my hair has been dyed multiple times. So there's just hella dye all over it. It's not going to get to a color that the roots are going, that the roots are. You know better, honestly. Her roots are probably going to always be lighter especially because that's like unlocked hair and the rest has locks. So the lightener is going to have an easier time penetrating that hair than the rest. I know you're supposed to wait to do your roots to the end, but I don't care. Period. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, I am going to have to bleach it one more time to like get it as light as I want it to be. This is the first time because like I mentioned, I do have jet black on my hair and the color that I'm going for, I want it to show. I feel like locks makes it so your hair is like it's impossible to break your locks off with bleach i feel like you could do it a thousand times and they would still be there because there's just like so much hair built into that one strand imagine if you're like bleach your locks so many times that one just like fell to the ground that would be terrifying <laughs> and also really interesting to watch we're working around the head we're getting through it we're almost done applying the lightener i can't wait to see it start lifting I have washed out that first bleach. This is day two. This is not the same day. This is the next day. I mean, clearly her roots got a lot lighter. Like she knew it was going to happen and I knew it was going to happen. And now she's doing the ends again, which I think is an amazing idea because she really needs to lift out more of that color before we go and do pink. I'm getting those little spots that I missed. As you can see, those dark spots right there that were hidden because my hair was twisted. I'm glad she's not going back over those lightened spots. She's really focusing on those dark areas first to even things out we're about to get into this color after this clip so i absolutely love my hair this is after the second time and it got much lighter and now we're about to add this color i really like this ginger color on her like and i like the way the roots are lighter it really works for her for some reason <laughs> usually i'd be like no 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 no. but this this looks cool check that color out y'all i hope that this color is like neon pink because otherwise it is not going to cover that orange but if it is neon pink it may just do the trick please look i got a whole bush y'all if i was to cut my locks off i would just cut it off to that to the end of that new growth okay we're not going bald we're gonna keep what we working with up here and as you can see my hair it's not damaged but of course it got its own little thing going on we are applying that pink all over and it's looking super super pink yay i love pink hair and i think her hair is porous enough that it's really going to um suck in all of that pink and it's really going to be bright i hope so please come on i want some fun today Oh, it looks so good. This was such a good decision. I want to see the end result so bad. All right, guys, so this is the finished product, okay? The ends are darker than the roots, but I just did a retwist and I styled it. Here is the style I went with. I just did a little pineapple, fine apple, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Shut up. I love the style she put it in. I love the fact that her roots are lighter pink than the ends. The ends are red. The roots are pink. I don't know. It's such a vibe all around and it looks purposeful. It just feels artsy and cool. Here we are. But I'm going to get out of here. Just give y'all a little, you know, turn around. Let y'all see what's going on. But watch the next video. Ah, I love it.
I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. She did such a great job. I know she knew what she did wrong, but it ended up coming out really cool. Well, today we saw a bit go wrong, a bit go right. I don't know. I am kind of obsessed with that pink look. Maybe the first girl should also go pink. You should do it. If you guys like to shop my hair care or my hair color line, you can do so with the link below or go to xmondohair.com. We have all kinds of colors, all kind of hair products, everything to meet your needs. If you guys would like to check out X Mondo or me on Instagram to get some hair inspo and um, a bunch of other shit. You can do so. This is where you can find us. It's also linked below. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want. And that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye.